Our last discussion about uh, Finnis Dake, uh, I thought was the end of everything I was going to say about Dake and his work. But uh, I do have one more uh, small thing to add. I had talked before in this extremely large Dake annotated reference Bible, which you see here, that he does have a section in here where if there's ever a question in the scripture, he will write that and it's a question and then he'll tell you where to go for the next question and you can of course read the question and find out if it's answered or not and sometimes you make a comment about that but of course i haven't gone through all of this yet because it will take a long time to do that but what i discovered the other day in going through it what now not surprising me because dake is so extremely indulgent in doing everything he does carefully, I found in here a section called, believe it or not, questions, Old Testament questions. All right. Now, you know you can find the questions in the text itself and go through. But what he did, he took the time to take Old Testament questions and put them down one at a time so you can actually find out uh, where they are. For example, I'm going to use my magnifying glass briefly, but Old Testament questions, and then you begin with question one. When you ask that, and it's in Genesis 3.1, then question two, Genesis 3.9. So in other words, you don't have to go through the Bible questions one at a time to find them. If you choose, you can go through this, and I will show you it right here, you can go through this. There you see. And you go through this. And what you find here is that those are the Old Testament questions. So you can go through every single question that is in the Old Testament and get to on the end of it. And... Um, it goes through every book, by the way. When you go through this, you'll come to questions in Jeremiah, Isaiah, and so on and so forth. Now, it says also in here that there are, imagine this, there are, uh, let me see, let me see, oh, hold on, I'm not the wrong place, let me go back. It, it says that there are, let me see if I can find it, when you get to Old Testament questions. Yeah, it, it'll show you that there are Old Testament questions. There are 2,274 questions in the Old Testament. <laughs> now, can you imagine that? And um, in the New Testament, uh, there is 1,022. So that will take you through every book in the Old Testament where there are questions and it will show you exactly uh, where they are and that way you don't have to go through the whole Bible looking for questions then of course when you come to the New Testament questions he also has that laid out so that when you come to the New Testament you will find there again New Testament questions what book do you think you begin with first? Well, you might imagine it's in Matthew, right? That is correct. And so it's in uh, Matthew. And there's every single question in Matthew. So you don't have to go through like we did before. Every single question one at a time, then find the next one. You can go to this and find any question you're interested in, in any book in the New Testament. Go right to that question that tells you exactly where it is, not by page number, but by reference of verse, uh, scripture, chapter and verse. And that way you can find all these questions. So this is a great help in finding such things so that you don't have to go through the entire question section of the Bible to get these answers. <clears throat> so I found that particularly interesting in this Bible. And I had not planned to do any more with it, but <laughs> I must say that is another example of how exact Dake is in everything that he does. 
So, uh, and I will be getting that uh, Zondervan uh, um, uh, concordance that Dake actually wrote for them. I will be getting that, and then once I do, I will show it to you. So, this is more about Dake, uh, and uh, I am enjoying this almost more than you are. So, I hope you have an extremely wonderful day.